Rebecca Ashton with your exercise of the week. This week we're going to work on neck length and having a nice alignment of the head so it sits nicely on top of your shoulders. Um, in this day and age where we're texting all the time or sitting in front of computers or we're driving and we ended up like this and our heads tip forward, um, we need to rectify that and alter it because no one likes to be riding around with their head poking and their shoulders working up the back behind them. It's just not a good look and it's not good for you, so let's not do that. Again, like last week, we're going to use the strap. You could also use the Pilates circle, a magic circle, if you've got one. It's actually, I think it's a little better than the strap, but the strap is a bit more accessible. So you're going to grab it and pop it around the back of your head. And normally you'd kind of keep it a little, a little bit wider and forward to keep it attention, but I'm going to take the strap a little bit further forward than that just so you can see me, so I'm not hidden by my hands. Um, so we're looking to lengthen the neck. So it's like you're trying to pull up the crown, the, the back of your head, lifting up tall into the strap. So it's not just going backwards, it's lengthening up and backwards, okay? So it's lengthening up and back. It's almost, it almost feels like the movement's being initiated from here, not just this part. So it's coming from right deep down the length. It's almost like you're leaning back into a, a wall, gently. Because remember, we're trying to access the deep muscles, not the really um, the superficial um, muscles that move us so much. So just lengthen the neck up and back, like that. So it's very small, very subtle. Um, don't, don't go too crazy because you'll, you'll start using the, the wrong muscles will start taking over. So just do a few, no more than about 10. Keep length through your whole body as you do it because you know everything's connected to everything else. And if you feel like it's getting a little bit strong, you might want to grab an overball, lie down on the ground, put your head behind it and just gently um, turn your head from side to side afterwards or to do it against the wall side to side just to make sure these outer muscles stay relaxed and don't try to help the support of the neck.